Hi everybody, I'm Tim from TroutandFeather.com and thank you for viewing this special edition video because Landon Mayer has flown all the way in from Colorado <laughs> to share some guy flies with all of you. Landon, thank you so much for coming on. My pleasure, man. Great to see you. Great to be here. Well, listen, look, we're going to get right into this in a moment, but we're going to be sharing what today? Three top guide flies. Oh, perfect. Guide yeah. flies, we're talking quick ties yep. and they catch fish. Absolutely. I like it. Yep. I know all you do too. Let's get started. Sounds good. All right, aside from knowing that Landon lives in Colorado, hopefully you know a little bit more. But in case you don't, why don't you tell them just a little bit about yourself? Thanks, Tim. Absolutely. Landon Mayer, born and raised in Colorado, trout fanatic. Can't get enough of it, of course. Love tying flies. Started when I was 13 years old. and My kind of guy. <laughs> absolutely. And here at the Fly Tying, International Fly Tying Symposium with Tim and Looking forward to sharing some tips and tricks and some of my favorite go-to guide flies. That's what I like to hear. Let's just jump right into this. Cool. All right, we're going to give you guide fly number one. What do you got for us? Number one. So number one is going to be the brand new on the market, the Sink It Spinner. So when in doubt, a trick I learned when I was younger is when in doubt, sink it. When the fish aren't willing to come up to the surface, they drop just below. This is the fly that's going to be the fit. Cool thing about this bug is it's got a bead. It has a silhouette in the make of a dry fly with rubber wings. So in the subsurface, those wings flex and move, and it really does trigger the fish. Oh, I love it. So we're, going, we're talking about a spinner. Yep. For all those out there, in the mayfly life cycle, like the last stage is the spinner. So they turn into these spinners, uh, they mate, they fall down to the water, and they die. Some go a little subsurface, and that's what this one's really trying to replicate. That's a killer one. Yep, uh, absolutely. Do you have any tips for fishing this? Absolutely. So the biggest thing about fishing this is subsurface or in the film is key. So what I like to do is actually drop this below a dry fly, but I don't want to keep this a long distance. We're going to keep it about six to 10 inches. And the secret is you're going to attach this with a non-slip loop knot. Okay. That way you get micro movement in the surface or just below with the water's current. It really does bring the fly to life. All right, cool. Now I'm looking at it right now. You're probably all seeing a large picture of it on the screen. <laughs> I love the wings. Is that something yeah. they can buy those wings? Can they make them themselves for all the tires out there? Absolutely. For the tires, it's just the biggest thing is trying to make the wing where it can be rubber, it can be plastic. The key is to cut it at an angle and have it arching up just like you get from the adult. So that the body is going to sink in the film. The wings are going to arch up and kind of keep it suspended. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I killer. think I could talk the whole video about this one. <laughs> it's a good plot. Um, you said it's newest to the market. Yes. I'm guessing if people aren't into tying, they can go to a fly shop. Um, who's carrying these flies? What's the company? You bet. Great company, Umqua Feather Merchants, Louisville, Colorado. They supply the flies, shops, a lot of the vendors, and it's available starting the 1st of January, 2022. Perfect. That sounds great. We'll cool. get to fly number two here in a second. Awesome. Thanks, Tim. Now we're back. The first one was like a dry fly-ish. It was yes. like a suspended dry fly. Sure. What's next? Next is going to be the Mare's Mini Leech. That was my first design submitted and accepted by Umqua 2007. Cool thing about the Mini Leech is that it's an unweighted version representing leeches, representing bait fish. And we all know that the tug is a drug, right? A big yeah. fish comes up, crushes a streamer. This is a smaller version of a streamer, and you can even trail it below something larger. Simple fly, micro pine squirrel, ostrich collar, a little bit of flash on the 2488H heavy. I know you've tied this for a lot of your viewers on YouTube and yep. it's it's just really a nice go-to imitation. You can use it with streamers, with dries, and with nymphs. Oh, I love that. Uh, Mini Leech, this has been a favorite for many people over the years. Catches fish, great one. I'm curious, now that I have you here, I can pick your brain yes, about this. Yes, absolutely. Whenever you fish this, you're talking about fishing it you know, underneath a dry fly. Yeah. Do you ever fish it off a sinking line? Absolutely, yeah. So sinking lines, floating lines, or you can even trail it below a weighted fly. But if you use a sinking line, this is a great micro spay fly. So something small that you can kick over with the subsurface line that's going to get right on the edge where a lot of those sneaky fish like to hold. You can strip it. One of my favorite things to do is we have the big fish come over and chase the streamer and then always, you know, veers off. So chase it, veer yeah. off, and it drives you nuts, oh, right? Yeah. So this is cool. If you trail it below that large streamer when the fish comes up to commit, won't hit the big streamer, turns and sees that leech, boom, easy meal. Oh, I love that. Yeah, pretty cool. For the fly tires out there, will you talk a little bit about what material makes up that, that tail? Because yes. that's a killer that's material. That's the key, yeah. And thanks to uh, Jason Hamrick and the Hamrick brothers up in Wyoming who introduced this to me with, with John Barr, one of my mentors in the sport. It's micro pine squirrel. It's my favorite material of all time. 
Now, it's difficult to find. I know you're looking at micro, you know, micro pine squirrel skin. You're looking at the squirrels in the backyard. Oh, you're yeah. like, okay, if I run out, yeah. I'm going to get that squirrel. Get a baby. <laughs> but it's don't a do great that. pattern. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't get a baby squirrel. <laughs> do not do that. But it's a wonderful material. It's a simple tie, and it, it really is effective on most waters. I uh, love it. Love it. Thanks, Landon. You bet. All right, two down. What's the final one? Third one. One of my personal favorite midge imitations, the tube midge. Sounds cliche, but one night, Tim, I got home from a trip. It was driving me nuts. We sang the water, did a class that day. I was thinking, man, what can I do to design a fly that looks like the midges do in your hand? Segmentation, clear body. And it hit me. What about wire? And what about tubing? But instead of it just being wire with tubing on top, let's insert the small wire into microtubing. So the body is made up of wire and microtubing, a thread head with a little gill tuft out the front, Sizes can range anywhere from 14 all the way down to 24. And the beauty of this, too, is you can make it versatile. So this is red for a midge. If I tied this in green, it could be a midge. Clip the front or a darker color. It's a caddis larva. Okay. A lot of features. Let me pause you there. When you said red, are we talking red wire inside clear tubing? Yes. Oh, I love exactly. that. Yes. Which, that really reminds me of John Collins. Many of you may know John. Tim Flagler, a fellow YouTuber, tied John Collins's electric cat. Same right. idea, yep. uh, killer pattern. But let's go back to this one. The name of this kind of reminded me, we got to stop the presses. <laughs> Landon has a new book coming out, uh, you know, late 2021, early 2022. Yep. This one's going to be featured in it. You want to tell them a little bit about your book. Pause the, the guide fly for a second. Absolutely. No, thanks for bringing that up. It's a, it's a wonderful project. 2020, I worked on it all year. And as you know, and appreciate the hard work in developing the photographs and the step ties. It's titled Guide Flies. Easy to tie patterns for tough trout. And as a full-time guide, the big thing I try to concentrate on is I'm looking for simple details, but also production. And a lot of that's in the book. So the three that we went over today, 20 flies in total, thanks to Stackpool, Jay Nichols. And as you know, the project itself, it's all about people coming together. So there's a lot of great community in Arlo Townsend, Phil Torellia, Angus Drummond, Dave Hoover, eight other individuals are in the book with their patterns as well. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Cool. Can people buy it from you? Fly shops, what's the best Yeah, great best question. Approach? Absolutely. Yeah, so fly shops, of course, support there. You can reach me out and you can get me on my website. You can purchase it independently there. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, directly through Stackpool Books. And the delivery date is sometime in December, early, maybe mid-December, hopefully in time for Christmas. And the good news for all of you, it's out now because we're <laughs> filming this prior to. So the book is out. Absolutely. It's a, it's a success. Everything's great. Yep. What's your website for them? Website is landonmayorflyfishing.com. You can also reach out and on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, type in guide flies, easy to tie patterns for tough trout. They'll find it. I love it. Let's get back to this midge. Yep. Um, can you explain at all the white tuft at the top? I think all of you are probably looking at it right now. We're, we're showing you a macro photo of this fly. What does that represent with the midges? So the gill tuft coming out of the front. So when there's the emergence of the midge coming to the surface, a lot of these midges will possess a gill tuft. And what I really like about the gill tuft and the secret weapon for the tube midge, I'll extend it sometimes even longer, put a little bit of floating on it, mm -hmm. and then it's a parapost midge. So you can have it sit in the film, hang just below, and a lot of these trout, when they're coming up, they're so selective, they're afraid to break the surface, exposed to all the predators being us and the birds. So if it's just below with that little pair post, that gill tuft out the front, poly yarn, and I like poly yarn in multiple colors. You can mix and match just like the wire and the tubing on the body. So we got three guide flies. Yep. If you want more, you can buy his book. You know how that works. Um, these are great ones. What's really interesting about this I fish a sunken spinner, but it's not this one. So sure. I'm looking forward to trying this. <laughs> All right, the, the leech, I fish that one. You know, we're done with that one. The midge <laughs> one, that's something I'm really interested in only because I'm also sure. really excited about still water fishing. Absolutely. I love chasing trout in lakes. Um, there's just something that's so special about it, but people assume they're eating big flies. Right. And big fish, sure they will, yep. but man, they can get a ton of those small flies. Absolutely. Fills them up. You check that fly out. It's a killer one. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, there you go, everybody. Three patterns are going to catch you more fish, no doubt about it. But let's give a big thank you to Landon. Thank you so much for coming My on pleasure, the show, man. Uh, it's great connecting. Uh, International Fly Tying Symposium, just a fantastic fly tying event. So it's great that you made it out here for this one. And thanks for taking some time out to share these flies with all of us. My pleasure, Tim. Always enjoyed your work, your videos, and congratulations on your new book as well. It's right, great, well, thanks, to, great to share the table with uh, our fellow author, man. All right, last question. If people need to contact you about these flies and others, sure. best way? Best way to do it is through landonmayorflyfishing.com, through the website. Perfect. The phone number's on there as well. Still guide full-time and love getting out in the water. So 
any chance you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. All of you viewers at home, thank you so much. If you have any questions or comments about these flies, you know how to reach out to Landon. You can email me at tkamisa at gmail.com. But most importantly, comment down below. By all means, leave some comments. I know Landon will jump on. He'll answer some of those comments. And click that like button just so we know you enjoy this style of video. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, Landon. You bet. We'll see all of you soon.